Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the TypeScript MySQL with SQLize. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So today we are going to build CRUD REST API with Node.js TypeScript MySQL with SQLize. So let's start it. So here, first of all, we are going to create a directory of the Node.js for project. So let's go to the folder structure. So first create directory done. Then we have to go to that directory. Okay. Next we have to initialize the node.js project. Done. Packet.json is created. Now we have to install the following npm packages. Done. Next step, this is the folder structure of this project that we have a source controllers. So, okay, so let's create it. So, first open it. Okay, so first we have to create the SRC folder. In SRC, we have to go with the controllers. So let's create the controllers. Then we have to create user controller.ts. Then we have to create models in the source. Then user.ts. After that, routes. Okay, then user routes.ts. Then index.ts. Okay, so we are going to add with source index.ts file. Okay, so the folder structure is done. Only the ts config JSON is pending. So let's initiate this package npm and pxtsc in it okay so we will go with the terminal and add it okay so this file is automatically generated now we have the next let's come we will configure it right now just first install the node moon and configure that package and let's add this script part over here in this scripts package.json we have a script section let's replace it we have index file index.tjs we have index.js file we have index.ts index.ts rest of the i think we don't require it this is on the development mode with the node mode this is compiling the typescript okay run the eslints run the tests you want to run the watch mode and generate the test reports okay so this is done so node one successfully configured next step that is ts config part so i have already have the ts config part so i need to just copy this one so you have to just add it in your pro in your ts config this is my configuration file which i have made and made in so this is the thing okay so move to the next one that's we have to add our code then create a sqlize model for the user source model user.ts so first we are going to create the model okay so here we have the connection part also or the same so this is that one just copy this and add it into our code user.ts <coughs> so here we have the mysql your username your password in the database so let's configure this one also username php my admin and your password password mm -hmm, admin and your database let's 
check the database part let's log in first okay then we will create a new database CRUD okay so let's add it here the CRUD one okay so we haven't created any of the tables right now okay so we have an ID name and the email okay and this is the ID name and the email data type also and this is SQLite table name users okay export that one Next, next we have a user controller in the user controller.ps file. So let's add this, the CRUD part. Okay, so this is the user controllers. Let's add it. Next step is user routes. I will explain in detail when we have the post APS, right? So create the routes part. So here we have the route section. Okay, so let's add it in the routes user routes okay so paste it then we have a index.ps file so just add it over here index.ps okay this is done let's run the server npm run dev okay so server is running on the port right and let's see if the connection part is working or not so let's check the tables are created or not so here you can see the tables are not yet created I think the sync part is missing so let me add the sync one so here we go with the source we have the dp.ts file okay so here we have the sync one just give me a second so here you can see that we have a SQLize, okay. So SQLize part is done, but the SQLize syncing part is here left. So we will add this one, okay. So where here we have the user routes is available. Okay, so user.ts. So now we will add like this, SQLize table synchronized sync part, okay. So let's try to rerun this and what the error is coming up. Suna so connection error. Get address info again. PHP my admin. There is issue in the get address PHP my admin. Let me check. So my SQL PHP my admin admin one two three hash. No worries. We will use the this full fledged part. Okay. And here we have the which one crud. Okay, and save it and try to run. Now you can see table synchronized successfully. Okay. If I go to the database, now you can see the tables are created. Okay, so users table is created, right? So this is very important for the SQL. Otherwise, you are creating it a manually which is wrong okay so it should be automatically created with the help of the sql so this is done okay so let's move to the apis part okay so first <coughs> go with the user routes and this is the route part okay create user get all users update delete okay so first we have the create user part okay so let's go and check this one and the which port it is running that is 3000 so here we go with the postman Let's create the first user. Okay, so let's move it to the make it 3000. And this is users. Make a post request. And we have a body name and the email I guess it should be a select so structure name and the email so let's send it so this is added let's reload this select data data is added 
okay let's add two more fields so my name is rajni khan and uh, rajni khan okay send it data is added let's so let's go with the post request first okay so where is the routes so create user then create user request and the response okay we required name and the email so user create name and the email and it will done and it will return the user created else any issue goes on just internal server error okay next one get all users so here here we have the routes so get all users get one okay so just user dot find all so if i just switch back to the get api and enter this you can see the data okay so this is the get one next we have our date one okay so here we have the routes for the date user just id we required so request in the response so require request dot body email, name and the email okay so await user find by pk id so we are just finding if the user is not found is not there then user not found else we are trying to update the data with the help of user dot name user dot email user dot save and return that one okay let's try to update the data so here we have the put api so here we have the users one for this to be a put so it's a put api right so make a put one users one okay so there is developer new junior okay so i would like to replace it with the something welcome to my channel okay so id one send it let's reload this welcome to my channel okay and this email is also done because this is the email part right so this is updated next section we have the delete one okay so we have the delete user so if i go to the delete user part request response find first we find if it exists if the record exists or not if not it will say that user not found else it will destroy or delete that one and return okay otherwise it will show internal server error right and in the <coughs> index.ts nothing we have added we have use express body parser route section then uh, we have a port then we are using the json part for accepting the json for the apis and this is the route for the users okay app dot use user user routes then on which port it is listening let's do the last one that is the delete one okay go to the, this one and make a delete request over here and the user want to delete it okay done let's check this one so it is deleted okay so this is the full fledged crud operations to, with the help of the typescript node shares mysql and sqlize any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day